next movie is the deadliest movie ever made. Antrim is a story about a boy and a girl who go into a forest and uh, they're basically going to dig a hole to hell so he can rescue the soul of a dog. That's what Antrim's about. Antrim, the deadliest movie ever made, is the documentary around that, which talks about this cursed film, how there is only one print, and all that good stuff. So um, the premise, really cool. I love the premise of this. Yeah. Yeah, I do love a cursed... Um... Like cursed cinema, fucking. Uh, I think there was a cool like. I think Mick Garris may have done it on uh, Masters of Horror, or yeah. uh, or somebody. Um, yeah, I like that. I do enjoy the premise. Um, I, I specifically do like satanic shit around this. There was a yeah. uh, there was a podcast I listened to a while back called The Black Tapes that kind of had like a cursed uh, quality to like uh, similar kind of action happening, and so yeah, I'm super into it. I um there I was something, no <laughs> <laughs> there was something from the 80s and for the life of me I can't remember the name of it but um let's just say that the movie was called like Death Trap but if you were to put it in your VCR and play it it would like be a killer talking to you saying like oh, oh this is a death trap I recorded over it this is me killing <laughs> what type of thing <laughs> so, cool premise super cool yeah. um so this is a mockumentary and Antrim is actually a movie that's supposedly cursed, and anyone who's ever seen it has uh, a fortune has be, a misfortune has befell them. Right. Um, the filmmakers have discovered, or they've been led to, what seems to be the only existing print of this movie ever. There's some what they think may be changes to the movie, but they're not entirely sure. They don't know what's real and what's not in this movie. So, and they show this cursed movie. Yes. Um, really cool and i like that they say that there seems to have been some sort of uh alterations to it but they're not sure if they're alterations or right. not so right. getting them off the hook exactly there's that and um as you're watching it too you're kind of like i wonder if that's supposed to be there and i wonder right. yeah. i mean some stuff is obvious right but then there's some stuff that you're kind of like i wonder if that's part of the movie or not oh that this movie is just oh, just super just interlaced and laden with with little tidbits and weird real stuff and like uh, all of it is i think meant to confuse the and 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 cause you unease and yeah as far as that goes this movie is super effective <laughs> with yeah. some of that stuff yeah um so this came out just gosh, four years ago so yeah it's not a alert. Yeah, well, yeah we're, we're gonna go into it but we won't get into it and then there's some pretty major Mm -hmm. in it like this movie if this had come out like um around Blair Witch pre-internet or as the internet is because I had never heard of this movie no do you think this movie would have been one of those like oh have you heard of Antrim do you think this uh, movie got that uh, buzz no no I don't think so I'm well shit man you're talking about a whole different time yeah yeah <laughs> that's yeah I mean maybe so I think it could have had some cult cinema status um is that gonna have it now no <laughs> well so that's i think it's a fair point to add then what do you think prevents that from because even nowadays you hear people talking about cursed films and oh i saw the print i saw the real ring like you hear stuff yeah. like that like because i agree with you um i think there's a reason that we haven't heard of this movie like well i i, I think in general we're all like i mean it takes a lot for it to to impress us as horror fans these days and I, I, right. this this i mean i and this sounds awful uh what but i don't mean it i guess in the way that it sounds but this movie tries too hard to to to, to do that you know like um like instead of like ending like when you when you're done watching the antrim or whatever uh, it literally pops up it goes you have now watched the film in its entirety like, it's yeah. like oh, yeah no i get yeah i get it like <laughs> that's that's what i'm here for you know like right and, and so yeah there's there's a little aspect of it that's like yeah it's a little bit try hard it it's a it's a cool like we keep going back to it's a really cool concept and i i think i like i really liked some of the imagery and stuff that they were doing um not with like the the, the kids uh, you know that was <laughs> 
I, I didn't none of that really affected me too much um it was all the other stuff all the accoutrement that i enjoyed the um so this is folk horror <laughs> like antrim like the actual antrim movie is folk horror and i love the imagery and they do some yeah. really really cool stuff yep. um i agree with you about the kids like especially um the, the boy very 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 annoying yeah. very you know, i mean they do yeah. explain there there's a point to it later they explain why he acts like he like he acts and it's kind of part of the curse or whatever but um like antrim as a, forgetting the wraparounds with the documentary and all that antrim as a movie it would be an all right well, i wouldn't watch it more than one time Mm-mm. but um, it'd be an all right watch mm-hmm. yeah yeah i would definitely well yeah of course like it's always funny like a lot of times when we're doing these things I go back to a very specific time in my life when I was living in Lubbock, Texas, and I was going to a place called Hastings Books. And it was so like Hastings had like, it was like a part Barnes and Noble, part like Spencer's Gifts. And <laughs> so they had dildos and <laughs> some dildos and like weird, like books by just, Leon Metz. Yeah, <laughs> all the weird shit. Uh, and then like a killer used books to still have some of the books. But then they had a full, like movie rental section full of like obscure shit and like new stuff it was awesome and so like i i always when i think about these movies i go like well if i because my my ritual is like going on thursday and rent movies for the weekend and then i'm gonna watch them throughout the weekend and so i would go in and rent three movies at a time and like i would it would be stuff like this like yeah that that was the first time i watched uh, cannibal ferox or pharaoh you like that was like I, i would go through the and like the antrim would be a thing i would have picked up read the label and read the cover and been like, yeah, I'm taking this home. Like the, the whole concept is 100% something I would be into. This is just a, this is such a, just a wrapped up in a weird package. It's, it's almost, um, I don't want to know. I don't, do you think it takes a, like, do you think it takes away from the actual thing by the way yeah. they, they did this? Yeah. I was going to ask you the same thing. Like, and I know you were joking, but you said, you know, get, like, get themselves off, let themselves off the hook, but well, right. I, I'm thinking that they feel like the movie wasn't strong enough on its own. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe they thought it was a cool gimmick. Maybe they thought it could have gone viral or it would have at least attracted Because even though nowadays we're not going to fall for a Blair Witch thing again, but we might be interested in seeing it, you know? Right. And maybe they thought that that would help. But, you know, I I would say I agree with you. I agree with you that all that hurts the film because (laughs) right off the bat, it's an additional, like, what, 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, like yeah. it makes At it least. longer than it needs to be. To- to- totally, and that oh man, I I think I don't know if it's just us as like cinema fans nowadays. We're just like our patience is very. I don't know. We don't have good patience for movies very very often anymore, and um, just as a as a I would say as like a sub as a genre culture, we don't have very much patience. And um, yeah, this movie tries that patience. You know it. You know, I think one of the things we complain about a lot on this show for the past three years is, man, it felt long. Man, that that could have been shorter. Man, cut 15 minutes off of that. Man, you know, like very rarely are we like, man, I could have gone for another 30, 45 minutes of that. You know, like we yeah. never say that. And this, yeah, this was definitely a, a symptom of and suffered from the symptom of, of having just too much. And like you said, it was it was fluff, too much fluff for for what we got and while that said some of the fluff was some of my favorite parts of it and it's a confounding movie yeah it's straight like you get so at first i was cool with the documentary part like in the yeah. beginning they're talking about the history of cinema and then they get into the history of antrim and then yeah. they talk about how they found this print so i actually thought that's what the whole movie was going to be and then it would be like kind of intercut with parts from antrim and then they say like okay now you're going to watch antrim I'm like, okay, this must be only like a 15, 20 minute movie type thing. And um, they start the movie. They, I I did think, like you mentioned at the end, they say you've watched the entirety of it. I did think the little warning in the beginning was cool. I like the warning at the beginning. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, that'd be cool. And then like, if you're watching it in a theater or something or at a friend's house or something, like, it'd be super cool to see that. Like, it's it's kind of a neat little thing. Within the movie starts... And it goes on, and it's not just 15 or 20 minutes. It's, it's a no, movie. It's a full movie. It's a full movie. And then it says the end, and then there's more. And then after that, there's the documentary with credit. 
So you have to watch the credits because there's scenes there and they're explaining stuff. And yeah. it was like, it was just a little too much for me. Like I would have rather that they went one way or the other. I, yeah, man, it, 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 this was, it just tried way too hard to, to accomplish its, its goal. And I always wonder, and I think we can agree, maybe, I don't know, like, this is all like editing stuff. Like, had, had you made a tighter and more interesting film with Antrim in the beginning, like maybe you would, you could have gotten away with just releasing that, but like, it became like, it, it seemed like, honestly, it seemed like three people edited and made this through this movie together it was like like some like one guy or gal got the first part and they passed it on to the next person and like, and like it was just, it didn't feel cohesive i guess is like yeah at all and like on top of that just expecting me to keep watching and watching and watching i'm not gonna lie the, when i got the first the end i stopped it and then i was like and then i saw the thing and i was like oh shit there's like more movie here and so like you know i went on and i was like oh well okay you know like that's that's asking i don't know that's just that's too much too much too much too much it is and then it becomes a little bit confusing because like, it right. ends and then what happens after that is seems like it's a continuation of the movie like the actual like thought. how it would have yeah. been shown but then there's credits and then the credits are talking about how oh there's this this and that to it so you're it's kind of like what is the end? like was that an end credit scene but do they have any credits seen in 1979? Like, <laughs> right. It's, and then, you know, there's stuff with symbology and demons and summonings and all that. So you're kind of like, it, uh, like, does that, was that supposed to be seen or did they just happen to see it here? Which I don't know. I guess that was part of what they were trying to say in the beginning about what's been altered and what hasn't been altered. But sure. Yeah. To your point, like, it seems like different people had their hands and everyone had a different idea or they had mm -hmm. a different like direction they wanted to take it in and much like honeycomb like the idea is and in this case i i, I mean it's even a, a better idea because you don't see that you don't see this very often mm -hmm. like really cool idea like i mean and who doesn't like the story of a cursed film i mean only love when cursed stuff yeah exactly Shown cigarette burns movie. that's the name of the one movie God, it's coming back to me slowly. But. There you go. Because yeah. <laughs> this had cigarette burns throughout it. Yes, actually. it did. Yes, it did. Sure yes. did. <laughs> um, I mean, and then the thing with Antrim, actually, Antrim the film, like like you said, there's some really cool imagery. Like, I actually like the weird characters that they introduced in it. Um, there was some, like, the stuff with demons that was really cool. And I love the creepy music in it. Yeah, no, I there was... Yeah, I really like that. And then there was, there was, uh, there were like, I don't know if I'd call them like interludes or whatever they were, but there was one in particular of like, it's like a demonic face and, um, it's great, kind of grayed out and it's like hard to see. And they yeah. do, it's really effective <clears throat> because like I had to like, I had to like squint and be like, is that thing fucking blinking? You know, and like when I, when I did kind of see like witness it blink, I was like, man, that's, that's really creepy as fuck like that's a that's some really creepy imagery and like and tied in like i don't think there's really music playing for that but there's like a deep just tone going on so yeah they, they did some really neat interesting and effective stuff for sure and the music and, and sound was definitely part of it they do another cool thing and then this is those things like this goes back to the whole like what was altered and what wasn't but mm -hmm. there's a scene where um the girl is talking to a boy the boy and they're standing on like a hill and the sun setting, so the, the background is kind of like this bluish purple, but there's like a silhouette of a devil against yeah. it. It's very, very, very thin, but it's it's also very it's, visible. Yeah. And it's super, super, super cool. And it's kind of like, creepy. yeah, and it's like, is that what the filmmakers for Antrim wanted? Or is that what these mysterious people who gave them the film put in there? Like, I don't know. Yeah, and stuff like that's cool. Like, it I just... Is. I just wish they had, you know, kind of tightened things up a little bit and um, it would have, and it would have gotten to the whole, like, it would have made the whole, like, it's a cursed film thing a lot more fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> give me, give me just like a touch more lore that I can like grab onto. Exactly. Exactly. So Antrim, it's a uh, streaming right now. Um, I saw it on, I want to say I saw it on Tubi. I think I watched it on Freebie. Yeah. It's out there. Yeah, it's that, out there. It's out there, and you can see it for free. Oh, 
Adrum, the deadliest movie ever made, Blake, C or no C? First of all, the most deadly movie ever made is Hedwig and the Angry Itch, and I will hear nothing of the sort. Uh, I love the, that movie. I do too. It's so good. Um, uh, man, this is just like a tough week for me. Um, shit. Nah, <laughs> I, I don't think you. I, I don't think you have to watch Andrew. I, I I think there was some. I think there was some really interesting stuff. And you know, I say this every now and again. If like, if you were like really into what we were saying, by all means, check it out. I think this is a tough watch overall, and I, I think it was a little bit confusing, too confusing for my taste. And again, it's like, if I would, I would I pay for this? Nah, I, I wouldn't. So I'm, I'm gonna say pass on it. I really, really wanted to like this movie. Love the opening, love the premise, and then it just kept on going and yeah. going and going and going. So. I would have to say, to be freebie, wherever you find it, pass on it. 